Welcome back to Unbelievable English. I'm Adam, and today we're going to talk about Kaleidos Jr. Kaleidos Jr. was created by Spartaco Albertarelli, and it was produced by Cocktail Games. In Kaleidos Jr., we're going to have a lot of fun looking at crazy pictures. Do you remember Where's Waldo from when you were a kid? Here in Korea, it's called Where's Willie, I think. Anyway, Where's Waldo has these crazy pictures with lots of details. How about I Spy? Do you like that game? Well, this game is very similar to those. We're going to be digging through a picture with lots of detail and lots of things to see to find very specific kinds of items. So let's take a look at setup, then we'll learn how to play Kaleidos Jr. All right, guys. So the setup for Kaleidos Jr., very simple and straightforward. You get one set of chips for each player or team, and then you pick which picture you want to work with. Kaleidos comes with four sheets for each color, which means you can have four different teams or four different players, and those all are the same number. So there's eight pictures, they're double-sided. We're gonna choose picture number three today, just to give everybody a sense of how to play. So we're gonna take all these other pictures away, and then we're gonna to go to the greens, and we're gonna find number three. See, they're the same. Once each team has their sheet and their chips, you get your timer ready, and you get your spinner ready, and we're ready to go. So, we spin our spinner, and there are a couple of different ways to play this game. Uh, let's just jump right into gameplay. You spin the spinner, and now you can choose whether you're going to use things that are liquid, the category, or the letter C as your starting point. Either way, you're going to choose things that either start with the letter C or things that are made of liquid, and you're gonna to try to find those on your sheet. So, what's made of liquid? Hmm, maybe this team finds, uh-oh, things made of liquid? This is hard. Oh, I see a bottle, maybe there's water in that bottle. And this team sees, oh, there's a bowl full of milk? That's a liquid. And so you're gonna go and you're gonna find as many things as you can that fit within that category. There are lots of categories here. They're all a little different. I'm gonna put it up on the screen for you to see. And there are also the first letters to use. So if, you were, if you're really feeling like a challenge, you can spin it and find things that start with the letter F. That might be tough though. Now, for my classes, for my students, I like to give them a sheet that shows them what the different things are on the sheet, just in case so they can go home and study that vocabulary and come back ready to go. This game is really great for building categories and recognition in students. It builds up what we like to call in the teaching world a neural network. We're not gonna talk about that too much here though. So that's the whole game. Find lots of stuff, do it before the timer runs out, the team that found more things that fit the category wins that round. And that's how you play Kaleidos. All right, guys. Thanks so much for being here with us at Unbelievable English. We'll see you next time. Bye.